and everybody and welcome to the truckandtow.com video tutorial series. My name is Chris from the web support department and today I'm going to show you how to change your ship to address other than the default billing address so that it ships to other than the default billing address. As you can see I'm going to start here I've already got an item in my cart I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to, to uh, checkout and get this transaction started. So I'm proceeding to checkout. If you're a brand new customer uh, this is where you would create your account. Uh, if you're an existing customer, you can log in here. You can create an account or you can check out as guest. We always recommend creating an account because there are many benefits, including reward points and other benefits that will uh, uh, you'll have access to by having an actual account on our website. So I'm going to go ahead and go click create an account. Um, this is where I would put in my first name. using testing information, obviously. So as you can see here, I'm putting in an, an address of 12345 Main Street as my billing address. Now remember, the billing address has to match the address that's on the credit card statement of the credit card that you're going to use for your transaction today. Otherwise, you may have trouble uh, getting the credit card through. So that's a very important uh, thing to remember. So here we are. No, that's not going to be. So now I've created my bill to information. And of course, it asked me also to put in a password. So I'm doing that now. Okay. And now right here, I can say you can also ship to this address, address, or I can say I need to ship to a different address. So since we're trying to get to a different address today, I'm going to click that button. It's going to take my billing information. As you can see here, it, it took me to step three, which is now the shipping information. So here's where I can put in a completely different set of information, right? So this point, I'm shipping it to uh, my buddy Tim Tester. He's at our warehouse, which is at four, five, six, seven, eight, Maple in a whole different city, right? Um, Newtown, Arizona, how about, or Alabama, even better, right? It requires you to put in, you know, all the information for that second address. So make sure you have the right, you know, information in there. I can also actually, if I wanted to decide to use this as my billing address, I can click here to do that. Once I hit continue, uh, it should give me a shipping option for that address. And as you can see over here, your billing address is, is here. Your ship to address is here. Now, if you are if you already have an account and you want to change, that's a completely different scenario. Let me go ahead and log into my test account here. Now, in this particular case, um, I would also I would already have shipping information because I've, I've placed an account, an order before with this account. So I can go to from my account page. I can go to my address book, at which point I have the ability to add addresses by clicking here on Add New Address. Um, I can see the addresses I already have set up in the account, right? And I can change them if I want to. In this case, you can see that the address. Um, and for the billing and shipping matches. So say I want to add a new address for my ship to. So I'm going to click add new address. It's going to allow me to put this information in. And of course we always ask for phone numbers for uh, each one of your addresses so that we can uh, call if there's any delivery issues or anything like that. Right? Street address. So here's my new address. So I'm going to put it as 5555 Washington Street in this town. Massachusetts. Now here, if I, I have the option to save this as my default shipping address by clicking this right here. So when I save this, it now comes back to my account. And as you can see here now, my 
billing address hasn't changed, but my default ship to address has changed. So if I were to go into the shopping cart right now and place an order, that will now be my default ship to address. And I'll demonstrate that here real quick by just taking what I have in my cart, proceeding to checkout. You'll see that there is my regular billing address that we saw in my account. Um, I can also say ship to this address right here, or I can say ship to a different address, hit continue, and it's going to give me a drop down menu to, to of all the addresses I have in my account. As you can see here, here's the 555 Washington address that we Washington Street address that we just made. I'm going to select that one and just hit continue. And at that point, it will give me the proper shipping options for the new ship to address. If you have any more questions on this procedure, you can certainly use our live chat application down here or call us at our toll-free number and ask for support. We also have a customer support center that uh, contains a lot more information about our website. Feel free to visit that at any time. Thanks for watching today, and we hope you have a great afternoon.